everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. I've got a design team project to share with you guys today. This is for Tracy Fox, who is Love Junked Journals on uh, Etsy. Um, Tracy's come out with a kit recently called Sketchpad, and it is gorgeous. You may have seen it. Um, Artie Mays, I know, is working with it because it kind of goes along, well it does go along with, um, it's very uh, same colors as Artie Mae's uh, butterf uh, Blue Butterflies. So um, those two kits work beautifully together. I know Tracy's doing a project using both of those as well. So let's jump in. <clears throat> I need to first give credit on the inspiration behind this. This was from Nessie's Journals. I'm going to link Nessie's channel in the description box below. She is super talented. Um, if you don't know about Nessie, you need to check her out. She is doing a tutorial on this folio as we speak. So that is, um, that is where I got the idea from. It was a, quite a coincidence that I happened to have the same envelopes that she's working with. Um, so that was that was awesome when I saw that I come across. I was like, oh yes, because I've not uh, I've done a folio from the Amazon packaging, but I've not built one this way before. So um, do check her tutorial out. It's awesome. So let's get started, guys. You probably recognize this. This is from the um, tag that I made from the Arteza watercolors. If you haven't seen that and want to know how I made that, I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description box below as well. <laughs> um, so this, I've just backed it with one of the um, Sizzix frames. I just think that really went along nicely. And then I put a uh, label here with some metal because I like to have the metal on the covers. And then I did some stitching around here. And then um, all of the... Um, spines have got the muslin you know as um, she described in the video so let's just open this and I hope I can get all of this in frame because um, it is a large project um, so here we go on the front cover or well the you know the first cover that you go into again this is one of the um, tickets or tags from the kit, and then this is one of the little uh, tags I've previously made. Well, it's been a while back, and I just came across those the other day. I don't know. <laughs> Stuff is just getting buried in my studio. And then I did some stitching around here and some layering. So this opens up again, and here I've got a little glassine envelope that I made a little collaged um, journal card, and I've backed that with tea dyed paper. So that's tucked in there. I've done some stamping and stitching on the muslin, and that's been adhered to the um, envelope. And that inspiration behind that was from the um, Somerset Studios, old, old, old magazine now. I, um, I've not been purchasing them recently. They're hard to get your hands on in the UK, and they are very expensive, so... Um, unless I know it's a really good one, I, I probably won't buy any any more of those. I love the magazine, but they're just so expensive. Um, so um, this is, I should have said, this is a, from one of Tracy's other kits. And isn't that gorgeous, the, um, the images she's chosen for that? I'll try to uh, remember to link that in the description box as well, because I have added a few of those in here. But I kept it primarily the sketch pad kit because it is just, I think it's one of my favorite kits from Tracy. She's got so many beautiful ones, but this one really uh, speaks to me. And there's, it's just such a neutral, you can just, anything will go with this. But I love the images on that. And again, another journal um, tag. You get these little labels, and then I've added some ruffle here that's paper. So, uh, one of the Tim Holtz um, die cuts, and then this opens up, sorry guys, I know this is going to be a struggle to try to get it all in frame, 
So here I've just added two little coin envelopes. There's nothing in those, but I wanted to put those on there because um, I think that goes along really nice with this um, kit, the craft against it. And again, that's another image from the kit. So that folds down. This folds back over. And then the center, now mine's varied um, from the original uh, one that she made. I made a booklet. She's done a couple of notepads, but I wanted to use another of Tracy's kits. And this is one of Tracy's. She does these um, booklets, in, and then inside you've got the pages for that as well. So it's been kept very plain because, as I said, this was getting really bulky. And uh, I wanted to make sure that there was some writing space because um, she had added like a TN type journal on the spine here. But I wanted to just use Tracy because Tracy has a lot of little booklets. And I wanted to make sure I added some of those um, and because of, I did that, there really it would have just been so massive to have added another journal. So this flips. <clears throat> well, first let me tell you, <clears throat> inside here I've added a. Um, this is one of the Royal Horticultural Society postcards, but then this is one of the journal cards I've made, and that is on an envelope. So that tucks in there, and I've just added that for for additional writing space, and then this flips over. So that you can also do, sorry, let me make sure you can see that you could do some writing up here, and then you've got that. That's another image from the, that kit. Ugh, just beautiful, such a beautiful kit. So this, <clears throat> again, here I've done uh, some burlap, and then this is one of the Tim Holtz um, dies, and then just layered that up with various things from my stash. And I love this closure on this. You must check out her. Um, her journal is fabulous because, like I said, she's done it slightly different to to mine, but I it's it's gorgeous. So again, this this is from Tracy's shop, and I love these little booklets. So I've added some pages in there. So there's a lot of writing space, even though it's not actually a journal. And then here. Um, just multiple layers and uh, some laces for my stash. So I've made a belly band there that that tucks in. I love how that looks. <clears throat> then this opens over. Let me move this over so you can see it. And here I've got a ruffle with some um, cut out. And then again, this is another of Tracy's beautiful kits. I love those cards. And then I made um, this little <coughs> envelope. And then I've tucked in here just some vintage things that uh, I had in my stash. So that's tucked back there. And then a little oh. journal card for you. And then here I've got an original... I think this is a cigarette card, and then this is a couple of the little tickets that you get in the kit as well, and then of course the bee. <laughs> yes, I just um, when I watched her uh, tutorial, <clears throat> she had used some of the Tim Holtz die cuts, and honestly, I'd forgotten. I purchased those like two years ago. <laughs> And I just, on it, if it's not in front of me, guys, I'm useless, absolutely useless at remembering what I've got. <laughs> so here I just created another large uh, pocket there, and this is one of the envelopes that you get um, with that. Isn't that beautiful? Whoops. <laughs> and so there's nothing in there, but that, that comes in the kit. So I'll tuck that in there. Here, this is another one of the little um, journal cards that you get. I love that image. And then I just added another one from my kit that I thought went with it. Here, I've made like a little <coughs> faux postage stamp. And then that's created a tuck spot there. Okay. 
and then over here got another little pocket here with a tiny Rolodex card so you can do some journaling there and then more collaging here I love how that's come out that's the the ones that haven't been colored but actually with this kit that worked just perfect um, and then here I've made a big journal card there and stamped believe stamp that image and distress that so that's tucked in there and that flips over so you've got journaling space here as well and then on the this bit another of the beautiful tags from the kit I've done some stitching around that and then I've added this little phrase the world turns softly <coughs> I've got the other one on, on this page flow away on the wind I thought that went with that dragonfly really nice and then that's that, and this folds over, and that's the back of the folio. So you can see, even, um, you know, trying to keep it thin, it still has filled out nicely, but it's. I will definitely be uh, making more of these. I loved this project. It was one of the projects that you could work on, walk away from. You know how sometimes you get involved in a journal, it's very difficult to find a, a, a stopping spot. Bond, or at least it is for me when I get into a journal uh, making I find it really difficult to walk away this was a great project for starting and then you could stop and you know it probably helped the fact that um, I followed her tutorial versus when I'm working on my own you get ideas and you're afraid if you if you stop at that point you're going to forget what you were doing <laughs> so um, this is just an, a really good project so you guys check her out I'm going to put this for sale in the shop if you guys are interested my shop is in the description box below but I will add her channel and you guys please check her out so I will be back very soon thanks for stopping by I hope everybody's safe and having a great start to the week and I'll be back very soon. Bye.